Hey Deckers, with Destiny 2 Lightfall here, and still no official way to play Destiny 2 on Steam Deck, on Steam OS that is, we wanted to show you four ways that you can actually play Destiny 2 on the Steam Deck without getting banned. Three of these are on Steam OS, but let's run through the options. We have GeForce Now, and we're going to be demoing the Ultimate tier, Windows 10 on Steam Deck, as we still have problems with Windows 11 on Deck, Shadow PC Power Upgrade running directly on Steam OS, and Steam Link to my local PC, which is an RTX 3080. All of these have benefits, most of these have an additional cost, but it will get you playing Destiny 2 and some a lot better than others. So let's dive into each one of these and see the performance and how much it's going to cost you. Starting off with GeForce Now. Officially this is not supported on the Steam Deck and we have a guide for this on the channel of how to get this installed using the Chrome browser. But it is well worth it. GeForce Now has three tiers from free up to £18 a month which I'll cover a little bit more at the end. First I want to dive into the settings and performance. As you can see here I have everything absolutely maxed out with motion blur off and you can see up in the top right that we're locked at 120 frames per second. Destiny 2 runs absolutely flawlessly. At this resolution on Steam Deck we get a few waivers on the stream but there is no input latency at all and no issues with the controller support and is an absolute joy to play. Obviously you do need a stable internet connection which is one of the drawbacks of GeForce now but as Destiny 2 is an online game you're going to need a decent internet connection anyway. So price wise as I said you can play this for free but only for one hour at a time before you have to reconnect. Priority tier at £9 a month or £45 for six months up front which gives you ray tracing abilities up to six hour session length and ability to bypass most of the queues. And then we have the ultimate tier which is what I was showing which is the RTX 3080s or 4080s available at £18 a month or £90 for six months up front. And that will get you up to 4K resolution and 120 frames per second and eight hour session length. Onto Windows 10 on deck, I was only able to get steady frame rate by running this on Windows at medium settings with motion blur off and also the chromatic and film grain off. You can immediately see the quality difference between GeForce Now as that was at the absolute best settings and on medium I was wavering between 50 and 60 frames per second most of the time although it does feel very nice on the Steam Deck. If you're not comparing this directly to the other services then this is a good way to play on Steam Deck running Windows although using Windows with the touch screen and updates can be somewhat of a pain and you will need a Windows license key so there is a minor cost to that but not so much of an ongoing cost. The only issue is that Windows 10 on Steam Deck can be quite fiddly and if you are dual booting or running it off an external SD card it has some additional challenges as well but otherwise it is a fantastic way to play on deck. Next up we have Shadow PC using the Shadow PC client on Steam Deck using the app image. This is the power tier so it's a slightly beefier Shadow PC but it's also the most expensive of their options and you can see that we have this absolutely maxed out again as well and we'll run this at a 60 frames per second cap even though that we could run this a little bit higher it's obviously a waste on Steam Deck. One thing to note is if you are using the Shadow PC client you will get some unstable frame rates and frame times if you try to use the H.265 codec. So make sure that you come into the shadow client and into the video display options and expand the advanced options down the bottom under video. And make sure that high efficiency video coding or H.265 is disabled. This will give you much more stable frame rate and you'll be able to lock that at 60. One of the nice additions of the Shadow Client is it does auto vSync for you between the stream and the client. But it did also seem to waver around a little bit and seem to feel like it had a bit more stutter or micro stutter than some of the other versions. But it is a huge advantage over some of the others being a full PC but in the cloud. So you don't have to have anything turned on or installed locally. You can still gain all of the benefits of Windows and all of the benefits of that cross compatibility of games, with the exception of Valorant. As I said, the Shadow PC is the most expensive option that we are showing today, as the base tier alone is £30 a month. And if you want to go for the power upgrade, which is what I was showing there, it is £45 a month. And that only comes with 256 gig of storage, and additional storage is about £3 to £5 a month extra on top. 
per 256 gig. So if you do want that, it is definitely the most expensive option. And of course we have Steam Link to finish. Now I do have a fairly beefy PC. And again, you can see this was completely maxed out. Steam Link has definitely made some massive improvements recently as I have absolutely zero latency whatsoever anymore. This used to be extremely unstable and unpredictable, but I've had an absolute blast with Steam Link recently. Of course, the drawback of this is you have to have your computer on, and I did have some random issues occasionally where when I was connecting from my Steam Deck, it would just not recognize the input until I'd restarted Steam on my PC. Maybe this is a Steam beta issue as I was testing out the file transfers as well, but still Steam Link could do with a bit of work. Cost-wise, well, you need a PC, so this is only really a viable option if you have a PC to stream from. You'll have to excuse the echo on this. The only way I could hear the game and record when remoting to my Steam Deck was to have some loopback audio, and it did cause a little bit of echoes. GeForce Now, I feel, is the best option to be playing Destiny 2 if you do not want to be fiddling with Windows and draw through options. Otherwise, Windows on deck is definitely a easier and cheaper option in the long run, providing you don't mind that extra boot and maintenance of Windows. Let us know in the comments below which one of these you're going to be playing Destiny 2 on and hopefully I'll see you online in Lightfall. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.